Can I turn a $10 solar powered toy train into a must have item? Who's having trouble with powertrain couplers? And why was this Thomas the Tank rejected as a broken toy, leaving a small boy completely broken hearted? Okay, let's get into gear and let's do it. Well today, I'm going to come in and have a play of the uh, little solar train here. It's like a bit of an electronics kit. It only costs $10. And I'm a little bit curious to see how it works. Looks like it's a bit of work to build this. And it'll be a bit of a daddy project. And maybe my son will learn something about this train along the way. But before we dive into that solar train there, lots of people ask me, Hey Leo, have you taken a look at powertrains? Well, I can tell you, yes, I have. And I'll just turn this little bullet train on here. If I can get it to go. There she goes. But we're having some problems with powertrains. And the problems that we're having is down here. Actually, just before I get talking, I will pull this one up. I'm not exactly sure what's happening, but my son will run up to me with the little coupling system broken away. That, from that one there, it's on the tender there, has broken away. And on this one here, it's one of the freight wagons. And you can just see where the plastic has snapped. Now I'm not sure whether Powertrains has addressed that little problem, but that's one of the weaknesses that I can see in this system, and that is the coupling system. But other than that, it's actually not a bad little train system to get into. I'm gonna try and do a proper review of this stuff, but I'll be comparing it to some other small toy trains. It's this style of train that my son really loves. If I take him down the shops, he'll always point towards something like that. That's why I've got that bullet train, the solar powered one. Let's give it another spin and uh, let's just rejoice for a moment in the powertrain's glory. So who out there has got powertrains? Can you tell me if you've had little problems with it? Um, probably the way the track couples together is another thing I could nag about it, but there's some other very good aspects of that train system that I do like. And like I said, I'll be taking a bit of a look at that in the near future. You're trying to cause a crash, are you? My son loves to muck around with the powertrains when it's running around. Look at this. That looks like a crash to me. Okay, time to go to sleep, powertrains. Your day is coming soon. Okay, it is time to pull out this uh, solar bullet train blah blah out of the box. Here she comes. We've got to get the unboxing shot. If you don't do unboxing shots, well, it's just not a YouTube video, is it? Oh, and here comes the bits of the kit. This certainly looks like a daddy build from what I can see there. Oh, some more. What's that? More paperwork? Oh. That looks like the big, big instructions. The other one must have been a thicker sheet. Oh, I can tell you that instruction sheet looks quite the read. Quite the read. Well, there is a set of stickers or decals as some people call them. And that has to be applied to the little train which is inside that bag. And it's time to empty out that bag of glory. And we'll see what comes out. Ooh, it's certainly a daddy build, this one. Ooh, look at that. It's a little solar panel and tiny motor. How cute is that? And there's all sorts of other little bits and bobs that have to go together to make this train. Well, there is the components of the train, and it comes in the form of that. And that's something you can make your own Borg cube or things like that. Just whack a few of those together and you've got a Borg cube. Looks like you've got to cut the pieces out, and then I'm going to have to follow these instructions very carefully to make this um, quite stunning looking little train. Uh, what have you got there? Are you geared for action, are you? I'll tell you what, this really is a big daddy build because that was just one side of the instructions. If I flip it over, the glorious instructions just go on and on and on and on. It looks fairly well detailed the way they tell you how to make that little train. Dad, maybe this power frame and fit in this here. Maybe that little solar train can fit on the powertrain track. We're going to have to work that out. Uh, if it doesn't, we will surely find something where it will fit, won't we? I know we will. Well, the next step for Daddy to do is to cut all these little pieces out of this, um, I call it the ball cube, because that's how you make ball cubes, remember? Yeah, ball cube. And um, it'll be one of those things of just trimming all the little bits of plastic back, because I know those wheels are going to have to be nice and round for this train to work properly. And this next bit is just, you come along, you carefully cut the little pieces out. Definitely Daddy work this one. 
I wouldn't let my son do this one. Reminds me of making uh, Airfix kits when I was a kid. I used to make a lot of Airfix kids kits. Uh, lots of them actually. I used to get destroyed and burnt. So it was really an insight into the sort of person I became. I was a very destructive child actually. Uh, nothing wrong with being destructive as long as you can turn it into an income. Well I can see by looking at the pieces here. That's the power part of the train. That's the carriage. And they're calling it the caboose. The rear carriage. Brake van in Australia I think it's called. Um, but I'm going to leave those in until I ask for I've actually just pulled all the wheels out. I notice everything's numbered so maybe maybe you just got to pull it as they call it. But I will pull each of these out as the instructions ask for. And the bird noises in the background is one of the magpies. Um, we've got a lot of magpies in the area. Uh, I don't know whether it's mating season. We're going into the winter time now. But uh, the babies tend to appear very early spring, late winter. Maybe people can tell me what the magpies get up to this time of year. There's actually two magpies, there's one there, and there's another one. I'll just go along here, you'll see one up there as well. Two maggies. Well, it looks like here I've got to uh, get my little plastic wheels that I've cut out, get the axles out of the bags here, and um, the geared one there. And my boy has, well, you asleep, are you? Wake up. What's happened? Huh? It's all, all a bit too much for you, is it? Yeah. You're going to try and stay awake for me on this one? Well, I think they're the first bits that I put together in this construction. And after some fiddly daddy time, that's what it looks like. Let's check if those little wheels will go onto the powertrain's track. What's the gauge like? Ooh, that's got to be close. Well, I've cut out the, I call it the power part of this train. Uh, it's telling me to put this uh, geared axle wheel thing in there and just another axle wheel on the front as dodgy brothers as this looks it's in so I've just done this piece here the next thing is a bit of gear action I know we were one of those kids that got right into things with gears I really wasn't one of those kids I always thought gears were problems in my mind maybe Meccano had a few gears I didn't mind but um, I don't know gears and me never seem to sink and after a fair bit of daddy stuffing around that's what it looks like just remembering I've got no head for geared things. Remember those IQ tests, they say if you turn gear A in this direction, which direction will gear B and C turn? I used to always fail those, then I'll fail again. The next bit to do is insert a little gear onto this little motor here. All little tiny stuff, big daddy fingers here, on it goes. And some people will ask, what's the part number on that little solar panel? Well, there it is there. YH30-18. Well that probably means something, but because I'm not into electronics, I can't tell you what it means. Well I'll tell you what, we'll give it a bit of a test, take it out in the sun, look at that! It works! Isn't that amazing? That's called free energy. And free energy is everywhere, did you know that? That's a hot topic for YouTube, free energy. You're making it start and stop, aren't you? And if we put it in the shade, it'll stop. <gasps> it's like magic, put it in the sun, it works. Wow! Well, like a good daddy, I have inserted the gear onto the small motor. I have put the double-sided tape onto the top of the carriage piece there. And I dare say the next thing will be to, yes, put the solar array and motor into this part here. And it looks like you're pretty close to putting it all together. And I should probably show this very important part here. It looks like the motor goes down the guts of the train there, the middle piece. The solar panel goes on there. People say, oh, but you never showed a set part. Well, there you go. I'm showing you that. The solar panel is on, the motor has its wiring going through, and the motor is in there. The next bit's a dangerous bit. It's putting the motor in here, in the right spot. I think it just clips down, it does. It is in, it looks like it's all geared up together there. Hopefully it will work. Like I said, I'm not a big big fan of gears. Uh, it looks like you just you close it up together now. I'm not sure if I'll get it in one take here. Who knows? Oh. Fancy that, it's together. And what we should do before I close it up is check to see if it works. If we turn around to the sun, let's see if we get a bit of uh, wheel action going here. Hey, it does work, can you believe that? I can't believe it. It's like magic. Okay, I think there's some screws to put in next. Okay, I got past that bit, but I sort of forgot to do this twisting of the wires they're talking about. Anyway, I closed it up without twisting it. I'm a bit lazy. And I like to just skip through things about properly reading what to do. The screws are next. 
and looks like the decals. Oh, and if I don't show this next shot of the screw going in, there will be outrage from my subscribers. Oh, where's the screw shot? Where's the screw shot? Well, there it is, guys. You've seen it live. You've seen it for real. And for those who needed to see the second one go in, there it is. Oh, yeah. Well, the next bit probably puts the greatest amount of fear into people, and that's putting stickers or decals onto things. I tend to have trouble. What I've found over the years is if you use a few tools to help you, it can sometimes make that job a little bit easier. I'm going to use a pair of tweezers here and I'm going to use the back of this as a way of lining it up onto the train. I'll be looking just to the side of camera because it's impossible to do this down through camera. I don't know how people who are surgeons work through cameras and do that real fine work. I've never worked that out because as soon as I start looking down through a camera it tends to distort what my hands are doing and I think I've got that first one on okay. I hope. I, well, you know, sometimes these are horrors to put on, sometimes they go on okay. I've actually just worked out, I've put the rear decals onto the front carriage, but I think that's all the same. The only difference is a little coloured light thing there is different. It's got red on the rear. And it's also, well, if I follow the instructions, that these are the A and B. But you know me, doing things backwards all the time. Well, there's a little powered part of this bullet train done. Maybe my son will go over and see if it works on the powertrain's track over in the sun. I'm sure he's dying to do that. And while he does that, I'll make the rest of the train up. Okay, it's a test drive of the choo-choo on the powertrain's track. Let's see if it works. Over to the very sunny part of the back deck here. Is this going to be a winner? There she goes. And it does work on the powertrain's track. It's quite amazing to see. Let it go again. Go. Well, there she goes. She's a wild little ride. Whoa, just had a bit of a stack. She's dragging the back wheels. Oh, it's back on again. Whoa, it just had a stack. Mmm, now all we need is some Thomas and Friends trains to be solar powered and it could really have some fun. Oh. Stops in the shadows, doesn't it? It's quite funny that. It doesn't get away too far away. Once it's in the shadow, it just stops. Oh, the big question will be when we build the rest of this train, will it work on the powertrain's track? Well, the rest of the instructions look pretty simple. It's just repeat processes again without the motor system. And what is very interesting, I've just noticed at the end of here, it talks about HO scale. There we go, HO scale railway. And if I zip up to the other end of this here, it tells me solar bullet train can be fitted to play on the HO scale railway. So just like magic, there was the powered section I made first and I've gone and made the middle car, passenger car, whatever you want to call it and there is the rear car, even though I put these stickers on back the front, yeah. that's the sticker for the front yeah. um, because of that there, the rear car should have the red signal I believe, the red little sticker there um, but you know what, you could go and make a short format train with this, you could actually just couple that to that you make a little short format one, um, but we're going to do it with the full version. I'm going to try this on the middle of Trackmaster Track because I'm pretty sure the middle of Trackmaster Track is HO gauge. Well, looks like he's got a little short version of the train going over there. With this little solar powered bullet train, I bought this for $10. I have seen it for as high as 20 and I dare say there'll be people out there saying, Oh Leo, I've got it for $5. Just be very careful of how much you pay for these because the prices do seem to be um, all over the shop and just yesterday I had a very good old friend of mine come and deliver to me a Thomas that he found down in the charity shop in another part of Sydney now what's interesting about this one I've already got I think I've got two of these already I think this is my third one and it was a bit of a sad story there was a father and son in there the boy really wanted this he saw it and he says oh daddy daddy can I have this and the father said no you can't because it's broken and um, from what I can see the only problem I mean, this is sort of sad. I think this is sort of showing us the sort of society that we're, we're sort of growing up into. People tend to be very, very picky in what they pick up, and it's very sad to see. There's actually nothing wrong with this. As you, you can see that it's got no, the stickers are missing, sure, okay? But where they were saying it was broken was there's little bits of plastic which had been chipped off here. If I close it up, you'll probably see it a bit better. There, there's a little bit of plastic missing there. And I think down the front somewhere, there's a bit of plastic missing here. Now, I mean, if that's been designated as being broken, that's very, very sad. And as my friend said to me, the boy was heartbroken when um, he didn't get this. But don't worry, this Thomas has been saved. It's going into my collection, and I will look after this as if it's brand new. There's actually, there's another broken piece there. 
But I mean, I don't like hearing stories like that where people, you know, are so nitpicky about things that they deem that's a broken toy. Well, it looks like someone likes this little train. It's sort of nice. It doesn't have any batteries. It can just, you know, go as long as the sun's shining. It's a, it's a winner. And wherever a shadow hits, the train stops. Well, here's a piece of the Thomas and Friends track master track. This is actually a very, very good track system. The middle section here is actually HO gauge. Some people know that secret. I've seen some people put uh, HO trains in the middle here. The radius is a little bit tight. But let's see if we can give that solar train a run on this track. It's going to be a little bit tricky to put on because you've got to set it up the wheels in the right spot there. Let's see if it goes. Oh, yeah. Can you believe that? Ladies and gentlemen, can you believe that? That's an excellent run on that track. Whoa, look at it go. It loves this uh, Trackmaster track. Wow. Oh, that is very impressive. And the way to stop it is I just put my hand up here. Stop. And get out of the sun there. Get out of the sun. My boy's in the sun. And go. Oh, yeah. Well, the next thing to do will be to put in that set of carriage to see if it keeps working with a full train set. And it looks like we're getting a train back together here. We've got the, well, the middle carriage and the front. Okay, that's a goer. I want to see the full three on there. Oh, there's a shadow there. Of course, it stops every time there's a shadow because we are powered by the sun. There she goes. Let's get that, um, the rear section on. Okay, Daddy's come in and put on the rear one. Let's see if it goes. Oh, yeah. It's a go, all right. It's, uh, well, not going as fast as it was. And it stops every time there's a shadow. Okay, Mr. Signalman, let that train go. There it goes. Bit of wheel sliding over here. Bit of wheel slipping going on. But nevertheless, it is working on this Trackmaster track. Well, that sounds like there's a derailment there somewhere. I think the rear carriage has come off. Making that characteristic rattling sound they do on Trackmaster when the wheels are off. In fact, it's looking a little bit sideways, there's a few wheels off now, but it's still powering around. Which is sort of impressive to see. Okay, I've come in and I've got the train back onto that middle track there again. If I get the sun onto it, it'll take off. Oh yeah. That's a nice little solar train, I'll tell you. Yeah, I'm quite impressed with this little train. The fact that it's a HA gauge is more impressive as well. The best part about this is you learn about the sun and how shadows affect solar panels. There she goes again. I'm sure my son will stop it again. Oh yeah. It's like the fat controllers. The sun in this one. I think my son's setting up a crash here, of sorts. He likes to play at the track and make things go wrong, as all children like to do, I dare say. Oh, well, it's stuck there. And the best thing about this train is you just get it onto the ground. Let's push it along a bit. That's it, it'll just take off all by itself, mind of its own, until it hits a shadow. Now, the funny thing about this is it's actually the same cost as a take and play train. Hits a shadow and stops. Where are you going to send it to? Oh, I think it's going to be a mission to a disaster here. It's gone. Can you see it down there? Down there somewhere. And just like magic, I've gone downstairs and pulled out a bit of uh, HO track. Some of it's very rusty, which may help this train. Oh, it really goes all on that. It's a real smooth runner. Now, obviously, that's um, the best track for that little train. That is going exceptionally well. I like it. I like it a lot. Ooh, yeah. It looks like my son's playing little obstacle games now and making the train crash. It's always fun to make trains crash. And I'm sure he'll do that again. Oh dear. I'd say there's a few wheels off in that little carnage. You know, for $10, it's actually a good little educational toy. Looks like my son's trying to wreck it now. 
and it's a real good goer on HA track. Well, like with any trans system, there is always something that's going to let it down. And I think the weakness in this system is the coupling system. There's the C on the engine side, and you see the white mark there. The white mark is plastic distress going on. And the way it works, like a bird's chirping in the background, is there's a post on the other side, and it basically slides together like that. But sadly, the weakest link in all this is that C, and before long, that's going to break away. But you know what, if that coupling area fails, I think I'd be putting a little magnet on there and having that as a coupling system on this little solar train. Well there you go, I've finally got around to the window of that little train. I've seen it in the shops for some time, I was always curious about it and it actually has given me a bit of a surprise. For $10, that's a pretty good deal, it's a lot of little train fun. Now I ask my son a question here, you're looking here, you're concentrating, you ready to answer this question? Are you ready? You're a little bit tired, aren't you? Which one of these trains do you prefer? Do you prefer this one or this one? Which one's it going to be? You like both, do you? Very well done. Very diplomatic. He likes both of them. And I think with my son saying that is correct. They're both pretty good trains. And it looks like in the end we've got our train wreck. Fancy that. Watching and bye for now. Yeah, bye everyone. Bye. 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 But we've, but, oh, <laughs> take, take, what is it? Take 10. Yeah, take 10. Okay, you're going to stay awake for me on this one? Good boy. Well, it probably means something, but because I'm not like, uh, blip, 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 blip. So like a good daddy, I've done that bit, and I have actually done this next bit where you put the bit of sticky boobies in there, and the sticky doodah is in, and that's where the solar panel is going to sit. Well, like a good daddy, I've done that insert shit. There's a double sided tape onto the top of the carriage there. I've done that. So it's probably time to flip this over and see what is. <laughs> bit there in the solar panel getting stuck on. Well, I am showing you. Here it goes. It's going on. It's going on. And it's on. And there's a massive motor socket going out past the front. I mean, the real quiz is going to be will it be able to power up the three carriages? And it's had another stack. The big question is going to be, will we have... The big question is, will, will we... Blah, 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 blah. And the big question is, when we finish this train, will it be able to run completely on this powertrain thing? I'm having lots of troubles, actually. Well, the rest of this looks pretty simple. It's sort of like repeat. Cost me ten dollars, but be careful. I have seen them in the stores for much more than that. I've seen them punching up near twenty dollars, and I dare say they'll be. And I'll do another one. I tell you what, my son's impressed. Hey, walk over here, and we'll stop it. Oh, and as you play with the shadows, you start to understand a little bit about solar panels, and it looks like wheel slippage as well. Yes. Thanks for watching and bye for now.